today on the TMZ Podcast. Hello and welcome to the TMZ Podcast. I'm Charlie Cotton and joining me on the podcast today, everyone's favorite, newsbreaker, lovemaker, Devin Ra. Glad to be here. Mustache too for Friday. I know. I shaved for you. I, you and for the good. YouTube viewers. Yeah, the YouTube viewers. So if you're listening to this, jump onto YouTube. <laughs> jump onto YouTube. Check out the mo. <laughs> it is fantastic. Well, I'm glad we got you here today. Yep. Uh, we're going to talk about OJ, all the reactions to it. There's a few funny stories in there too. Funny? Well. Wait, you're saying other than OJ? Well, you know, I mean, no, it's about, it's about things surrounding it. Okay, got you. Nice tease. Uh. Golden Bachelor, Jerry and Teresa are divorcing after three months of marriage. Say it ain't so. I know. It is. It is. We'll talk about Coachella, which starts today. Lots of big performances and maybe even an even bigger surprise performance. Yeah. I kind of have FOMO about not going. Oh, you do? I think I aged out, though. I think you did, too. Yeah. A long time ago. My wife said I aged out. <laughs> we'll talk uh, our almost news We'll talk about everybody's kind of love to hate couple, Ariana and Ethan Slater. But to begin with, OJ Simpson passed away yesterday. And yes, it was a crazy day at the office. I bet it was, man. Yeah, what man. was it like being around here? When hey, he man. Broke? I mean, the fact that Harvey wasn't here was insane. I mean, Harvey, our boss, got his like start I reporting mean, his, the case. His career was up essentially launched by yes. covering OJ. He was the main reporter and also it's his main throwback memory. Like when it He he brings up OJ once a week. Yeah. Oh, at or the least, trial. At the trial, things that yeah. he saw, exclusive details. And then yesterday he was away in New York. Like he's never away. He's and he was never away. not in the office. And it was almost like OJ got him one last time. <laughs> you know what so, I mean? So he had to he had to zoom in to TMZ Live to yeah. get his thoughts for yeah. New York. Oh my I God. mean, he's getting blown up about people wanting him on the sh different shows. But yeah, I mean, crazy day. Um, you know, we had kind of heard rumblings about this for some time that he was in hospice. No one was talking. Now, now we know why, but we were never able to confirm anything. And then, um, you know, yesterday, uh, posted on Twitter that, yeah. that he had passed away surrounded by his family. Well, no one was talking because he made everyone sign NDAs. Yeah. It, it, and I have some theories to this. Um, so yeah, he did make anyone, uh, cause, uh, a bunch of friends and family went to see him, um, because obviously it wasn't looking good, uh, including his four children, which is kind of interesting. Well, yeah, two of them, at least, uh, um, two of them with Nicole, both, both went and saw him on his deathbed or at least around the time that he passed. And yeah, uh, according, according to our sources is his attorney made anyone who came to see him sign an NDA essentially saying, you know, and there were no phones allowed, no photos. You couldn't leak any information about how he was doing, which honestly the NDAs worked because no info leaked. And if he made a somewhat of a deathbed confession, we'll never know. We never will know. I, I, people connected that seem to know OJ and are very heavily invested in this, in this whole thing claim to set like, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. I know that a lot of people on online are like, well, did he confess on his deathbed? <laughs> I, I don't know the answer to it, but we're leaning towards absolutely not. And look, also, just while we were talking about Harvey and stuff, Harvey is adamant that he did do it. Like, yeah. And, and also, so was a jury in a civil case. Like, he was found liable for the deaths of Nicole and Ron and ordered to pay over $30 million to their families. That's a jury of his peers decided that. Uh, and he didn't fork over barely any of the money to them, the yeah. poor guy, the, their families. Yeah, because I think it had to do with his his NFL pension that you can't take that money for whatever reason. And I, as you know, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know the intricacies of the law. Mm. But it, uh, his, the Goldman's attorney came out yesterday and essentially like, yeah, we're going to be filing something now that he's gone and we're getting that money. I hope. But, I mean... How much money does this dude even have left, honestly? Not very much. No one much. really knows what he even has. I mean, the guy was doing memorabilia signings for years, and that's always, at least to me, the sign of someone who needs money. Right. And if you were like a fan who got your memorabilia signed that day, that's just skyrocketed in price now. Yeah, we, um, we did a story today that there's this um, memorabilia shop in Vegas 
and obviously they're well connected with OJ, so I have a ton of stuff. And like the second he passed away uh, yesterday morning, within an hour, they sold like 40 items because people are like jumping on it because to your point, they're like, this thing's going to raise in value. Yeah, I mean, love him or hate him, he's just a folklore sort of like... Great football player, not as good of a guy. Right, as. right. That's basically, that should be on his tombstone or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, very comp very like... I don't know. Complicated, interesting ups and downs of life. Uh, they should make a TV show out of his life. You think? They did. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, they did many, about the trial. Many, many, yeah, many. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. On to our next story. Jerry Turner and Teresa Nist divorce after three months of marriage. Huh? Like, this is crazy. They got together on the Golden Bachelor last year, like four months ago. And then they had like a, a live wedding spectacular with celebrity guests and this and that. That was three months ago. And now they come on Good Morning America and they're like, sorry, we can't make it work. Let's listen to some of their interview now. Teresa and I have had a number of heart to heart conversations and we've looked closely at our situation, our living situation and so forth. And, and we've kind of come to the conclusion mutually mm -hmm that it's probably time for us to um, dissolve our marriage. The thing that strikes me the most in, in our mm -hmm. conversations, it's been how dedicated both of us are to our families. So we look at these situations and, and I think we just feel like it's best for the happiness of each of us. Jerry, you sly dog. Jerry, first of all, no breakups mutual, my guy. None. And I, she didn't say a <laughs> word in that. So right. I don't know, I haven't seen the full interview. But welcome to the Bachelor franchise, everyone. Yes. It's hilarious to me because I, I, you know my thoughts on the Bachelor franchise. It's a joke. Right. Like the whole concept is a joke. And the funny thing about this one was that like, I don't know if you watched it, but mm -hmm. it seemed like everyone was so into it because, oh, yeah. because they were like, no, these are, you know, older people who are really trying to find love. They don't care about the fame. Like they're not in it for to, you know, get Instagram deals and brand deals. Facts. Guess what? Still didn't work. It's uh, it, it worked worse than ever. Yeah. They, you know, has there ever been a shorter like marriage in Bachelor franchise history? Was it history? three months? Is that what Three months. Because most of them at the end of the thing, they, they get engaged. But then they'll wait, you know, a, a series of months or years to get married. And if they do, they will last a bit long. These guys got ma snap married because I guess how much longer you got to, like, you know what I mean? Ah, oh, we've spoken about this before. And then snap divorce. It's just like, and them saying... The reason they gave was that, um, so they live separately. One lives in like New Jersey. The other one lives somewhere else. Which this is the one valid reason I will say. Like when you're older, like your your whole life is like your grandkids, right. your family. Are you really going to like move away? But, but, but they had agreed to but do they that. they went on the show. They went on the show. They had that discussion. Oh, really? They said they were looking for houses in the other one's city. One of them's from Indiana and the other one's New Jersey. Okay. And they'd, they'd already talked about it. They'd already, like, they've had they, those conversations. Did they not want to do long distance? And they don't, didn't want to, they had been doing long distance for the first three months of marriage. So, I mean, not that okay. romantic. And so they, I, I just think, you know, all that stuff came out about Jerry in the meantime, like when he like was. They said he, he was like a playboy, right? He, I think he still is. We didn't want well, to believe it. Well, I said, I believe, at the time, that this guy was like the heartthrob of America. And once he got off that show, and girls are sliding into his DMs, man. Uh, Teresa, sorry. Yeah, you did say that. I'm sorry. I, I called this. He's in some 25-year-old's bed right now, Jerry. He's he's going to be at, at like XS in Vegas <laughs> next weekend at a table with 20. One it was, he'll be at Coachella this weekend, oh, man. Oh, 100%. VIP section. Shirt, shirt off. <laughs> yeah. hair, uh, wind flowing through his hair. He will. He will. Uh, so, I mean. Good for, good for him. I hope Teresa's doing well. I mean, he, they did say it was, or he said it was mutual, but who knows? I I agree with you. Nothing's ever mutual, mutual. I There's always know. one person who's been. Of course. And I think we know who that person yes. is. Yes. Yes. Without doing any research <laughs> yeah, at <yeah>. all. <laughs> okay. On to our next story. Coachella starts today and Travis and Taylor will be attending. And that's big because everyone thinks that Taylor will come out tonight in Lana Del Rey's set. I mean, 
I could who, see that. Who knows for sure? I could see that. They're good friends. And then it also Saturday, Jack Antonoff, right? Is he Bleachers? I think that's his band. Yeah. And he, they're like weird besties. Right. He's performing Saturday. So that's the other theory that she might come out with him because he's written a lot of her songs. Are there pretty good odds you think that she's going to be on stage at some point? Uh, I think so. Yeah. I'd be surprised. I Because I, 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 as far as I know, I mean, I've, I haven't gone in a few years. I've don't think has she ever I know she's performed at Stagecoach before as like an act. I don't think she's as ever been like a surprise guest. I can't think of a time. Well, hopefully for Coachella's sake, she comes out this weekend cuz they still can't get rid of weekend 2 tickets. Oh, really? You know how Coachella used to like sell out like and then in minutes. It would sell out in within a minute and then the resale value, people who were trying to go last minute would have to pay like double the price. Right. But then they did they do that. They buy the tickets before the acts come out. And when the acts came out and it was like Tyler the Creator headliner and Doja Cat. Doja Cat is the other headliner and and Lana and Del Rey. Lana Del Rey. I'm not a big Lana guy myself. I mean, if they're the three Probably. headliners, like come uh, on. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I get it. To me, Coachella was always more like, yeah, obviously you look at the the poster and you're like, oh, like you want to see some big names that you want to see. But it's more about like the experience, no? Right, It's yes. going and partying with your friends and you see, see – there's always something. I mean, there's a million artists on there. There's always yeah. someone you want to see. But, yes, I will say the – the um the, when it came out, it was very disappointing. Forecast – Weather forecast, not great for this weekend. As in hot or cold? Cold. Wow. It's going to be raining in LA this weekend, apparently. It's going to be windy Coachella AF. Coachella is not in LA. Windy AF did in you, Coachella. Did you check the weather in Coachella Valley or did you check here? I typed in Coachella into my Google search and like that was one of the things. It's going to be like a I bad don't, weather I this don't weekend. Know. Look at this. You're not a weather guy, dude. I'm just paraphrasing what I read. Okay. Very windy, well, apparently. 90 degrees. 90 degrees tomorrow. Great work. What? Don't quit your day job. 90 dude. degrees and windy? Oh, my God. You check the weather for L.A. It's nowhere near here. Well, we'll see. When those photos come out of those girls with sand in their face. There's going to be coughing. guys with shirts off and girls in bikinis, dude. It's right. 90. It's okay. We'll see. We'll see. I, I predict it might be windy Inch. and a little little wet or overcast okay. at the very least. Do, do not come to Charlie for any weather advice. You know what else I found interesting? What? Performing tonight is Suki Waterhouse. She had a baby a month ago. Wait, Suki Water. I, I, she's uh, Rob Pattinson's. She's an. Uh, wait, I thought she's an actress. No. Yeah, she is. But she's also performing tonight at Coachella. Just before performing what? Is she a singer? Yeah, like kind of. She kind of does everything. But she I just mean, had a baby it, a month ago. Yeah, but like Rihanna did the halftime show and she was like super pregnant. I know. I'm just saying, man. Just something to bring up. Okay, she's snapping back. We'll see. I mean, I would you go to Coachella and be like, oh, I can't wait to see Suki Waterhouse? No. No, I would would be shocked that she was even up there. Right, right, right. But good for her. Good for her. Congratulations for her. and all that. Uh, it, I, I'm kind of like FOMO. A little FOMO. I like you reach a certain age. I remember the last time I went and I kind of looked around and I was like, dude, I kind of look like a narc yeah. at this point. <laughs> yeah. And it was a little off putting, but it's always a fun weekend. It was oh, when I and went. I always you see you see uh, you know all the people out there, and it looks like it's going to be a great time. time of your life, man. You know, yeah. people are pulling up to their La Quinta houses right now, drinking right now. We're talking about OJ. Oh, God. <laughs> you know, okay, almost news time. Ariana Grande, and Ethan Slater, still going strong. Who would have thought when she left SpongeBob? She left her husband, Dalton Gomez. Mm -hmm. He left his wife and and, and kid yeah. and like they were high school sweethearts. I wonder, I wonder how they're doing right now. But oh, uh, yeah, I hope well. But Ariana and Ethan were in Las Vegas at um, it was kind of like a wicked type event. I think Universal, mm -hmm. the studio who did it, was throwing something. Ooh, they're at Nobu. So they went to Nobu, Caesar's Palace. That'd have be you nice. been there? It's a nice place. I have not. I've been to Nobu, Malibu. Okay. Nice uh, place. Great view. Not as great at Caesars. Not as great, but no. also... A great, great sushi. To be in Vegas, it's just fun. Oh, yeah, they're at CinemaCon. That's right. So they snuck in through the back door, and then they sat somewhere kind of secretly, but we got, like, little video of them canoodling and, like, touching each other and that sort of stuff. Weren't they... They were kind of making out, no? I oh, didn't watch... Little the, kisses I didn't watch and stuff. Little video. kisses. Wasn't you, full makeup. You think it's been, it's been like, well, how long have they been dating? Like six months or something? Something like that. 
You're I'd, you're saying it's it's too long into a relationship to do these little kisses or what? No, I, my or do you is, just don't like her? I don't like her. Yeah, I don't like him either. I don't Why? know anything about him. Why? Well, what, I think he's like not... a little nerdy sort of SpongeBob character. He's kind of a dork. He's but... a dork. Okay? okay, and she I think is a homewrecker. Wow. And I also think she's a dork, but although I think... just just for the record, they've said uh, that that did not happen. I they, that they don't were... believe it. Well, they're both claiming that they were both broken up. Of course they'd claim that. I'm not yeah. buying it. Okay. okay. Um, you but don't have to. I just want to put the, what they're saying out there. I, I, that's why I get you in for the news and I got the opinion, you know? Yeah, I mean, we have to, <laughs> we're journalists here, dude. Everything has to be a little balanced. Am I man. a journalist too? You Don't you call yourself a, what do you call yourself? Because anytime I say, oh, you're a paparazzi. Like I'm, I'm a reporter. No, but you say you're like a field Field producer. producer. There you go. But I always say it with a laugh. <laughs> oh, I thought, yeah, I, you don't always say it with a laugh, man. I'll be interested to see if Ariana and Ethan will last after Wicked comes out. You know what I mean? Like when the dust settles and, and the interest in them settles, I don't know if But don't you kind of think the interest has uh, settled no, a little bit? No, oh, Wicked really? hasn't come out yet. The movie okay. that they met on. Yeah, that's true. So you're saying they're going to do all the press run. It'll be great. And they'll be in the limelight. they're still like around each other and their castmates. But once that's done and they have to like go to like a real life scenario, you just don't think it's going to work. Ariana gets bored of guys. That's why she's got that's that song, true. Thank You Next. Like she gets bored of guys. I like that. She's a man wow, eater. thank you next. She's a man eater. She's been telling us all these years. Yes, exactly. Wow. When they say who they are, believe them. Yeah. Wow. I never even thought about that. Well, there That's you go, good. Devin. That's good. There's a thought to leave you on. That's good. Have a happy Friday. Don't get too much FOMO, Coachella. I can't promise that. Just have fun with just, your pregnant wife. I'm just gonna, treat her good. I'm going to stay off Instagram this weekend. Yes. For, probably for the best. Yes. All right, mate. Thanks for joining me. Of course. And we'll see you guys here next week. Goodbye. Later.